You can go online right now, see all the things that Rick Warren is doing that you will never be able to do. You can go online right now and read everything that Tim Keller understands that you, do, you will never understand. No fault to those guys. They're gifted, blessed in those ways. I, I'm just telling you, I've done it. And it's, it's tough. And you get, uh, you start stressing yourself out. You get all insecure, you get anxious, and you just start trying to do more and measure up, and no one talks about this, but it's there. There's so much anxiety in this room right now of wanting to build a ministry, wanting to understand something, wanting to reach some plateau, and it goes against everything we've been reading. I mean, what did we just study? I'm the, I'm the shepherd, you're a sheep. Just, just, just follow me. I'm going I'm to make you lay down. I'm going to have you have to drink. I'll protect you from your enemies. You don't have to fear anything. We go through the valley of shadow death. I got you. I got you. I got you. And then here's the sheep. Here we are all stressed out. Somehow we're just stressed out about this, worried about this. We're anxious when he tells us, don't, don't you be anxious about anything. And then in John 15, he says, I'm the vine. Don't you get this? I'm the vine. I'm the true vine. You're you're, you're the branches. You're the branches. In fact, he says, look, look, you don't even have to do anything. You're just a sheep. You're just a branch. All you got to do, all you got to do is stay connected to the vine. This is simple. Man, everything Jesus tells us, that this stuff is simple. I'm a sheep, okay, I follow you. Okay, give me something to eat. Okay, take care of my enemies. Okay, that's all I gotta do. I'm, I'm a branch, I just gotta go, you know, let me just be connected to you. A branch doesn't go, oh, I'm gonna make some fruit. No, he just, he's saying, dude, just stay connected to the vine. It automatically happens. And, and God, my Father, he's the vine dresser. He'll prune you. He'll make sure you are fruitful. It's a guarantee if, if I'm in you and you're in me. If you just abide in me, that's all I'm asking for. Simplify this. We overcomplicate things and stress ourselves out and then we start deceiving and lying and pretending we're something. And Jesus is saying, you guys, would you rest? You're my sheep. I'm the vine. I'm the shepherd. You're a sheep. You're a branch. All you gotta do is abide in me and you will bear fruit. And it's fruit that will last. It's a promise. And so Satan is going to come along and try to distract you from that. He knows if you just abide in him, stuff's going to happen. He's going to try to get you separated from the fruit, Jesus, I mean, separated from the vine. Jesus gives that illustration. it's It's the most pathetic, stupid picture. He goes, imagine a branch unattached to the vine, trying to produce fruit on its own. It was a ridiculous statement. There was probably a vine laying around. I go, just look at that. You, he can try all day. Nothing's going to happen. I promise you. All you have to do is be connected to him. 